Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. This will be a quick session. I'm going to get into vector nodes and handles options and we do want to customize these in Corel Draw, at least I do because by default the installation of Corel Draw, you can see this vector curve here if I double click on that you can see the nodes are very small the handles are very small they're kind of hard to get a hold of hard to identify and work with but we can customize these so that we can know exactly what we're looking at as far as our node states are and have the handles be a little bit bigger so things are easy to work with. This will be a short video to set this up and then we'll start moving into working with the shape tool and the Bezier tool and some of the other things relating to working with curves and objects in Corel Draw and graphic design. So to set this up I'll just hit the space bar, go back to my pick tool, click off of that, go to tools options. You can see I'm already here on that, but if workspace is collapsed, just open that, go to nodes and handles, enable node tracking if you have not. Now cusp, I'm going to change that to a triangle. The smooth, I'm going to change to the square with rounded corners and the symmetrical, I'm going to change to the ellipse shape. Then I'm going to change my node size from small to medium. I can change the color scheme if I want to, but I'm not going to bother with that. And these settings are really the way that I like to work with them. You can experiment with these and see what works best for you and customize it for whatever is most comfortable for you in your vector workflow in Corel Draw. I'll select OK here now. Go to my line here, double click on that, and you can see now my nodes have changed and my handles are bigger. And I can tell this is, by being round, a symmetrical node as opposed to a smooth or a curved node. Now if I hit the C key, I'll select it, hit C, now it's a triangle, I can tell it's a curve. If I hit S, I can tell it's smooth. If I hit S again, I can tell it's symmetrical. Right now I'm using hotkeys to change the state of the node. In our next session, we're going to take a look at the anatomy of vector in Corel Draw, and we'll pick up a lot of information there so we understand how to work with the line segments and the nodes and the handles. We'll wrap here and we'll continue in our next video session.